Hello, my name is Tiffany Chang, and this is Conductor as CEO, where I take ideas from other industries and share how we can apply them as arts leaders. I imagine a world where organizations help people thrive, feeling more seen, valued, fulfilled, and knowing that their work matters. I was listening to a podcast this week, and I heard the term talent brand. My ears perked up, and I said to myself, what is this? I've never heard of it. I must find out more. And then I learned that there's employer brand and talent brand, and they are two different things. In short, employer brand is who you say you are, and talent brand is who you actually are. So when crafting an employer brand, an organization gets to say, using their prescribed words, what they stand for how they hope to be perceived, and what their story is. It can sound awe-inspiring, like a lot of mission and vision statements do. Talent brand, on the other hand, is the honest story of life as an employee inside your organization, as told by the employees, current, past, and even prospective. This is based on an Indeed article. In this article, the author Brian Cheney suggests that our talent brand seeps out in our social media posts, review site comments, direct network conversations, and face-to-face -face interactions and referrals. In arts organizations, we all work hard to ensure we have an employer brand that checks all the boxes and paints a vision of a better future. Yet, we're missing out on the power of our talent brand we are not using or noticing at all the voices of our people and what they are saying about what our organization is really about. And we don't use it to reflect, strategize, and actually get better as organizations. So on the outside, an organization can plaster its ideal employer brand all over traditional and social media. Internally, the talent brand may reveal a different story. Think about all the times you may have heard musicians talk begrudgingly about their organizations or about their working condition, calling the management liars or revealing unfair pay and unethical decisions. In addition to the public stories, there is much anecdotal evidence of toxic cultures and a fear of speaking up about it in the orchestral space. In fact, I discovered a wonderful and thoughtful piece called Consumed in the Culture by cellist Emma Quackenbush, discussing the absence of appropriate human resources for orchestral musicians as a factor in enabling toxic cultures and organizational dysfunction. I will link that below. So what happens when we sit down to compare an orchestra's employer brand who they say they are, and its talent brand, who we actually are, side by side. What would line up? What kind of dissonance may it reveal? A Forbes article by J.D. Conway shares that if an employer brand is developed without a deep look into existing talent brand, organizations often miss the mark and come off as oblivious. As a conductor, I realize that I can say all I want about how great I am, what tremendous value I could bring, or how I can be of service. I can curate my employer brand to my liking. But if it's not corroborated by the actual experience and evidence of influence in the people I have worked with, it doesn't really mean anything. It's an empty promise. And people are not dumb. They will see this. Conway adds, when potential employees discover the dissonance, it's going to cost you. This is what happens to organizations when they are not curious about their own talent brand and what their people have to say. Actually, we are curious. We survey our musicians regularly. Sure, the point is to learn about how things can be better, but the results can't be all bad. What the musicians have to say may be extremely positive. And in that case, 
we're missing out on capitalizing on that data to build and celebrate our talent brand or to further inform our employer brand. If there are patterns, positive or negative, we want to notice them. So have you ever seen organizations celebrate their musicians' positive stories of everyday experiences at work? If so, what kinds of stories are they? Could you find a thread that weaves all of them together? Imagine the impact these positive stories could have on recruiting, attracting like-minded folks who desire those same stories to join the organization, or marketing, providing insight into how an organization may uniquely position themselves and stand out in the market, and fundraising, showcasing deep, personal, and real stories that are worth investing in, or risk management, revealing internal dissonance that, if left unattended, may lead to big problems down the road. Or what about employee fulfillment, allowing people the ability to be seen and valued for their experiences at work? These can all be real impacts. On the other hand, when our talent brand reveals some undesirable stories, we can use that to evaluate how aligned our talent brand actually is to our employer brand and to find strategies to reach better alignment. This data will offer organizations clear direction rather than relying on employer brand ideals that may exist only in a vacuum. When we ignore these negative stories in our talent brand, it could get to the point where we have to tiptoe around the employer brand. Some organizations can become overly cautious in how they present themselves to the public and to the media. Musicians are sometimes even micromanaged and coached on what we should say and what we shouldn't say. What we should be doing to represent the, or the organization's values and what our brand should look like. What if what we're asked to say or believe in is incongruent with our existing reality? Well, we start to feel dishonest, betrayed, or unseen, and all sorts of other problems may arise. So at the end of the day, an organization can say all it wants about its employer brand, but it doesn't really have a direct say on its talent brand. The people do and they do it honestly. It's definitely a win to take advantage of that talent brand. If these ideas resonate with you, please consider signing up in the link below to receive an email with each new blog post sent directly to your inbox. Thank you and have a great day.